direct from Albany, New York, it's time for The Media Zone! With your hosts, Ed and Dave! Tonight, a look at this week's new film and DVD releases! And the chance to win free movie tickets with the Poster Pairs game. And now your hosts, Ed and Dave! Hello and welcome to the Media Zone. And Dave here and Dave along with Lee Lack. I don't know if you can see her in the TV version at the moment, right? You can see her? Okay, that's good. <laughs> I have the, oh, I, this is the TV version we have right here. Because you're looking at a TV. Right. I'm thinking uh, this is the widescreen shot, but we yeah. can't see that. Well, we're just coming off a big uh, week on the show last week when the House of Wax model was displayed, Dave. <laughs> Remember that in all its uh, gory oh, details? Oh, yes. <laughs> yes, I do. A classic episode, to oh. be sure. Such graphic uh, details. Even more detailed than the uh, YouTube version, which the uh, slight delay on those episodes uh, for personal reasons. But uh, they'll all be up there eventually. And uh, tonight we're going to find, are we, yeah, we're going to find out about Lilac's trip across the country. Wow. Yay. <laughs> Lots of pictures. Uh, I'm glad I finally saw some pictures because the whole time you were gone, most of the time we saw you were driving through this country, you were driving through that or state in this area. And yeah, it was, it, was, it was mostly driving, but it was because we had like a destination to get to at a certain time mm -hmm. and then had to be back in the area to work at a certain time. <laughs> so it was kind of hectic at some now How points. many hours at a time did you drive? In the beginning, it wasn't too bad each because we had like we made some stops like mm -hmm. in different cities. But like in the southern route, we were like kind of being illegal <laughs> and like driving like sometimes thirteen-hour shifts each oh! while the other person like slept in the back. Yeah, oh! it was pretty. What was that? Pretty in? Killer. Oh! <laughs> you know what's a nice drive is the two-hour drive to the Rock and Shock. I don't think I could. <laughs> I couldn't handle driving any more than that at one shot. How about you, Dave? Um, I have driven straight through from um, South Carolina back here. Mm. That's many hours. It's like huh. 12, 13, 14, mm -hmm. something like that. With, you know, the occasional stop for the necessary urination. Yeah. But other than that, straight through. I can do it. Yeah, I don't like it. I don't like driving. Oh. Well, it's something you got to do, Ed. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> I'll do it uh, to get to Rock and Shock under protest. I'll drive two hours, but any longer than that. You mean it wasn't a shared responsibility? No, I drove the whole way. Oh. Who'd you go with? Uh, producer Jim. Why didn't Producer Jim uh, drive some? It was not, It was a quick drive, wasn't it, Producer Jim? Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, it's quick to him because he's always half-gassed. He doesn't know. Should we tell the pee story? The what? The P story? Oh, there's a P story? <laughs> there is a P story. That, that's coming we'll up in three episodes. That's so. coming up. I gotta wait. The I, gotta rock wait. <laughs> yeah. I gotta wait three weeks for that. I'll be sure to wear the same shirt. <laughs> I, I think there was a monster, or, or some sort of sludge monster, created from the, <laughs> the P story. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, we'll get to that. What do we got tonight for the movies, Dan? Well, we got the new Hunger Games, Catching Fire. Oh. Ooh. And something else. Delivery Man. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody see any movies lately on, on our movie show? Um, um, yeah, I saw a bunch, but I don't remember any of them. Huh. I didn't get to Thor yet as we taped this. My son saw Thor. Oh, did he like it? He did like it. He's yeah. <gasps> getting some good uh, reviews. Yeah, he saw Thor. Mm -hmm. Let's move on, shall we? Okay, Let's go with The Hunger Games. Catching Can we go with fire. Delivery Man first? Well, okay, go ahead. If that's what you want to do, it's fine. <laughs> Vince Vaughn, Chris Pratt, Kobe Smulders, and Britt Robertson. DreamWorks Pictures Delivery Man stars Vince Vaughn as affable underachiever David Wozniak, whose anonymous donations to a fertility clinic 20 years earlier resulted in 533 children. David must now embark on a journey that leads him to discover 
not only his true self, but also the father that he could become. Ready to PG-13? For thematic elements, sexual content, some drug material, brief violence, and language. So what, he's going to try and father, be the father of 500 children? Yeah. No, that's, that's a, How is that possible? Through his uh, sperm donations in a fertility clinic. I didn't think they allowed you more than one drop off. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I don't know. Doesn't one um, delivery uh, beget many possibilities? It depends on the I mean, the how, ounces. Or well, how much of the goods is there? Yeah. You can just take out. All you need is one. One good swimmer. Or what did they call it on American uh, Horror Story? The man juice or something. Oh. <laughs> and, not a, and this is a FX channel. Not only did they call it the man juice, you saw the man juice no, you didn't. cooking over a fire. Oh, come on. Did you see that one? Have you given up on it? It's not too bad. This, this but there's, you know, there's a lot of swimmers in there. Oh, yeah. And you just need one to break through, mm -hmm. as Jim Morrison would say, break on through to the, to the other side. Yeah. But they could all be, could have lots of good swimmers in there. Apparently he had 533 wow. good Dang. ones. Dang. At least. You know, one is bad enough. <laughs> hard enough, isn't it? It's a hard thing. You've done it, Dave. I've done You're it the only one here that, uh, that, that have done it. <laughs> that I've done it. I had done it. And it's been a uh, wonderful journey, Ed. Wonderful Aww. journey. It's a little rough at times, though, early on, um, isn't it? I'm going to have to say uh, not really. Huh. I did not have any major issues or problems. I cannot... Uh, Badmouth my children, mock them, make fun of them <laughs> in any way other than... On camera. <laughs> well, they were good kids. Yeah, they were pretty good kids. And to this day, they still are. Yep. A good batch you created. Dave. That's right. <laughs> Those days that That's they right. were released. I was thinking happy thoughts at the moment uh, <laughs> that things were happening. Uh-huh. So you have to pick a good day to release those days. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, I, I waited... <laughs> I purposely waited about, say, three to four weeks in between sessions so that I would be, I would have pent up angst. Uh -huh. So things would be released in a stronger way yes. with much more force. Right. Oh. Uh, there's more to choose from, I guess. The best ones get through. That's right. Pushing the others out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> and people are taking notes? Are we taking notes? <laughs> You know, this show isn't written, Dave. These no. comedic thoughts come right out of our head. <laughs> <laughs> There's no writing here. This you know, how, long, how long has this show been on? And yet, there has been no, not even one script in 30 years. 30 years, no scripts. No. We're just uh, that talented that, <laughs> that descriptions of swimming sperms come right out of our, right out of our minds. Here. Yeah. <laughs> Hunger Games. Oh, all right. Catching Fire. Starring Jennifer Lawrence, Josh Hutcherson, uh, and a whole lot of people. The Hunger oh, Games, geez. Catching Fire. Wow. There's some big names in that oh, whole lot of people. Well, isn't like who? Lenny Kravitz? I think not. Liam Helmsworth. Uh, whatever. That's He's just, the Miley Cyrus. Oh, is that one, the. Right? Okay. Donald Sutherland, I get, mm -hmm. yes. Stanley yeah. Tucci, Philip Seymour Hoffman. What are you? Are you happy? Yeah. Okay. All right. The Hunger Games, <laughs> Catching Fire, begins as Katniss Everdeen has returned home, safe after winning the 74th annual Hunger Games, along with fellow tribute Pita Malark. Winning means that they must turn around and leave their family. Oh, that's terrible. Ed. And close friends embarking on a victor's tour of the districts. Along the way, Katniss senses that a rebellion is simmering, but the capital is still very much in control as President Snow prepares the 75th annual Hunger Games. A competition that could change Panem forever. Is that how you say that? Panem? Panem? That's a good uh, try. <laughs> hey, I don't know what that one is. Rated PG-13 for intense sequences of violence and action, some frightening images, thematic elements, a suggestive situation, just one, and language. Let's hope uh, Donald Sutherland has a little bit more to do in this one than he did in the first one. Well, that means you saw the first one. I did see the first one. Ah! And, uh, Not by my choice, but I did see the first one. I remember you saying that you didn't enjoy it. It was, yeah, it was okay. Yeah. Nothing spectacular. Yeah. I guess the young teens or tweens love it. Yeah. Still Stanley, like, I like Stanley Tucci's uh, hair piece. Who's this guy? That's Stanley Tucci. That's a, wow, that's a lot of fake. <laughs> the man is a complete chrome dome. Huh. 
And then you have the opposite end, you get Donald Sutherland, who's a walking grizzly bear. Or a, very uh, pursuit or a polar bear. This year, That's, uh, Aquaman. Oh, from Smallville? Oh, okay. I didn't recognize him without his orange trunks. <laughs> <laughs> How about this series, Lelac? Nope. You, you, you don't like the Twilight mm, series? Nope. I don't like any of these. I get told I look like her a lot, though. Jennifer Lawrence? Mm -hmm. mm, a little bit, I guess. I don't see it. it. I'm when trying. I'm staring at her. I don't see it. When she has the dark hair. Well, I'm staring at her too. <laughs> yeah. Do you like you her, think? Dave? She's a, a fine actress. <laughs> yeah. Winter's Bone, a very good film that she was in. Did you see that? I didn't see when no. anybody boned in the winter. No. <laughs> Whoa. Winter's Bone. Oh, Ed. Oh. What is going where, on where, here today? Where is your head? <laughs> oh, I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> What, what are you thinking? You did it. I don't know. I'm just trying to have fun for a little bit down here. Oh, come on now. Oh, yeah. We're not trying to uh, put off our viewers with these horrible, suggestive things you <laughs> discuss. <laughs> if we didn't do that enough last week with that model, we put, oh, well. put that you was should, not suggestive. Man. That was right there in, gra in graphic detail. You should see the model that I'm working on now, Lee Lack. We had it down last week. It's a house of wax. And there's a woman in the wax the pit ready to get poured wax on. And she's totally nude in this depiction of oh. this model. Okay. And it is anatomically correct. <laughs> yes. In every way, shape, or fo and form. And let's just say, just because it's the 1800s doesn't mean you can't see right. <laughs> what's going on in this model here. Okay. You would okay. think in the 1800s you couldn't see such detail, Dave. Oh, no. <laughs> but I believe, I believe in the 1800s, I believe, I could be wrong, okay. but in the 1800s, I believe women possessed much of the same, you know, <laughs> characteristics that they do today. Yeah, but I thought it was covered up more in the 1800s. Yeah. Not in the, <laughs> I suppose. But <laughs> what the hell are we talking about today, Dave? I, we go on loopy. And Le I predict Lelac's going to get loopy in about a half hour. Oh, okay. from. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> She's got a nice beverage over there. She's enjoying. Mm. But I, I have one question. What's that? Totally thing? unrelated to anything else. Okay. What makes Billy Fusillo think <laughs> people want to go on a cruise with him? <laughs> <laughs> you get to go on a cruise with me. <laughs> Who cares? It's bad enough we got to spend 30 seconds or a minute with him every, every once in a while. He says he spent like, what, a million dollars renting a, a Caribbean cruise ship? Mm hmm. Who wants to go with him? I don't want to be any... I, well, I can think of one person. But, and so can you, right? Right, from our previous yes. episodes? Yes. Yeah. But why is that such a big draw, to go to cruise with him? I don't I would know. say, I would leave the part out where he says, with me. Uh -huh. And just say, I, I rented a ship, you get to go on a, a five-day cruise, all expenses paid. But he's making it sound like with him, that's the big draw. That should be a, a disclaimer in small print, like most of the Price Chopper coupons. Right. Oh, yes. That's true. Mm. But it's only, I think, for the first 129 people that, oh. buy, that buy one. And then I think the second, then anything after that, they go on a virtually identical cruise, which, oh. without him, which would be the one I would want to go on. Right. I would buy my car later right. to avoid the, the, the cruise. <laughs> Oh my God. And, what, and if he says Das Huge one more time. Oh, no. <laughs> what? He does it for the Volkswagen. Oh, his, God. Yeah, his son. And we're going to make you Das Huge. He's got, a, he's got the sign on the Volkswagen now. It says Das Huge across oh the front. Oh, my God. What a jackass. The son doesn't have the personality that Billy does. Not, <laughs> Definitely yeah. not. Yeah. 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 When did he start getting or into the, the stomach. Com commercials? <laughs> The what's son. That? The son this? bought a VW dealership. Oh. Which is, by the way, right here, <laughs> next to the four other dealerships Fusillo's got. Oh my God. You know, and as you're driving along, surrounded by this this mass of Fusillo dealerships, there's Metro Ford. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm waiting for them to just all of a sudden say, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I'm waiting for that to. I'm waiting for their commercial to say, well, here's a deal we couldn't beat. Billy Fusillo bought us. Yeah. <laughs>